Hi, Dr. Ma, I know you're incredibly busy, so I'm going to <laughs> jump right in. If you could give us three lessons learned from SARS, what would they be? First of all, um, you must uh, get well prepared before you um, are, are uh, taking care of the patients. During the SARS period, and our hospital at that time don't have a good uh, system about infectious control. Not wearing any surgical mask inside the hospital, like what happening in some other countries nowadays. So uh, when the disease come, uh, we don't have enough isolation room, we don't have enough protective garments. So uh, staff get infected easily. After SARS, Everyone work in hospital. We do need to uh, 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 train our technique how to put on protective garment, how to put on the uh, N95 respirator mask uh, at least once a year. Because the SARS history always reminds us that maybe the um, outbreak will come again. The second re uh, lesson we learn from the um, uh, SARS is that uh, no hospital can handle large number of patients at once. If you let large number of patients come into the hospital at once, everything will broke down and the, they will collapse. We won't let one or two hospitals take up most of the case. So make sure that everyone got time to breathe and settle down. The third things we learned from SARS is that uh, we must do our contact tracing and, and epidemiology study well. Uh, we don't have many, many uh, locally uh, infected cases. So because uh, once we find out one cases, we um, uh, quarantine their close contact persons. We try to find out uh, where uh, they get the infection, whether they have done any uh, risky activities, for example, uh, social activity, dining and so on. On that point of tracing and testing uh, for uh, coronavirus cases, I guess information sharing is also very key in this way. Our society uh, do demand our government and our local uh, healthcare authorities uh, share the information clearly every day. That's uh, our uh, tradition, which uh, was built up since the SARS period. We also uh, suffer from um, uh, a lack of information at the beginning of the outbreak, as we do not get a full pictures from mainland China. So do you think this kind of strong community response is the reason why Hong Kong has been able to flatten the curve of infection, so to speak? I think there is one of the very important reasons. No matter you are infected or you are well, if you go out, please put on mask. No matter you go to the hospital, the clinic, or you just go out for shopping, just try your best put on mask. I know that some resting country uh, do not believe in uh, healthy people put on mask. Uh, there are so many asymptomatic patients. When we um, talk about the SARS period now, um, it, was, it still triggered our sadness, um, sadness 17 years ago. So I think this will be the same uh, for this ankle V pandemic. We also hope that um, different parts of the world uh, will learn from this uh, pandemic 